Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the podcast version of Trey's Variety Hour is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hello, everybody. My name is Trey. Uh, thanks for joining us. I'm a little hoarse. It's been a wild week at Disney. Uh, I'm coming to you live from Disney World right now. That's uh, Cinderella's Castle back behind me right there. Um, you just missed an amazing live fireworks show. We had a little trouble getting the show up and running today, so I apologize for that. Uh, but I do want to start the show on time. Um, we have people from all over the world that uh, tune in. And speaking of all over the world, we have a bunch of Australians in here tonight. Um, many, many Australian photographers. And we're going to talk about the huge, Aussie, amazing photo walk that happened last week all over the country. So uh, this will be a great show uh, to show off everything that happened uh, during that event. Um, Let's go around and do introductions for everybody, and then we'll jump right into sharing photos from the event and talking about it and uh, and this sort of thing. Uh, let's start with uh, Michael N. Sutton. Hello, Michael. How are you? Good. Thank you, Trey. Yeah, my name's Michael. I'm a um, photographer based in Sydney. Um, photography is not my main source of income. It's a, it's a big passion of mine. Um, I'm the person who organized the Walk Down Under with the help of um, Google Australia, in particular, um, a guy called Lockie McGrath. And, um, yeah, I'm here with um, a couple of my Aussie photography mates, and um, thanks for the invite, Trey. Oh, sure. It's my pleasure. Um, I was watching live everything that was happening with you guys by clicking on that tag, and I was mega yeah, jealous that. that I wasn't. Yeah, we noticed that. Everyone was... Everyone's coming to me saying, Trey Ratcliffe has just plus one my, my photo. Trey's just commented. They're all ecstatic. It was great to see. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm, I don't know why. I'm not that important of a plus oneer, but I was, re I was really enjoying it, uh, watching all these photos. Uh, this is a new phenomenon, this idea of everyone involved all over the world in a live photo walk where you can just watch this stuff. It's really... It's interesting. I can't wait to see what direction it goes next. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for organizing it and bringing me pleasure and, you know, hundreds of thousands of people around the world. I know it's it's tough to do these things, and you did a, you did a great job, so thank you. Thank you, Troy. Thank you. Um, okay, and now let's say hello to uh, Gretchen. Uh, so, by the way, during these little introductions, people can, you know, say whatever you want, give us your website, tell us what kind of photographer you are, where you live. All that good stuff, okay? So go for it, Gretchen. <laughs> All right. Well, my name's Gretchen Chappelle. I'm a creative artist based in Sydney. I'm originally from Portland, Oregon. Yay for hometown. Um, my photography is pretty experimental at this point. I'd like to use the iPhone at the moment to do a lot of different processing um, styles and... Um, I primarily joined Google to share my music, but the photography has just been so popular on here that that's kind of where a lot of my attention has been going at the moment. Um, my website's under construction. The best place to find me is Google+, Plus, but um, the website is my full name, GretchenChappelle.com. You can find me there. And I'm really excited about this new um, platform and all the fun things you can do with it. It's great. It's freedom of expression. I love it. Great. Thank you, Gretchen. Um, now let's say hi to um, Alexander in the leftmost frame. Hey, Alexander. Hey, Trey. I'm, I'm a, photogra a photographer from Sydney, Australia. Um, I've been organizing this uh, uh, photo walk together with Michael. I've been, had the honor of, uh, you know, um, leading it uh, together with Michael. It was a fantastic day. We had a great time. Um, usually I'm, I'm a photographer, a uh, photographer, by trade. I've been uh, doing this for 10 years uh, uh, part-time and this year is the first year where I've uh, been going full-time um, and uh, yeah, I also do some, some web design and videography. Um, uh, in my free time when we go out with uh, our little local group here, I love going out doing some light painting and fire painting. 
Um, on Mondays, uh, Michael and I host a, a daily photo theme called uh, MoFOMO. Uh, that's uh, plus M O F O M O, and that stands for Mobile Phone Mondays, um, where Gretchen is also one of the the very active participants. Um, and yeah, we've been doing that uh, almost for half a year now, and uh, uh, got a, I think over 800 people following the page, and. Uh, Probably about two to three hundred contributions every week. Uh, you know, if you want to, if you like mobile photography, take a lot of mobile photography shots. Uh, yeah, just tag them with uh, MoFamo, and we'll have a look at it. And there's a, a top ten every week that uh, you can check out and have a look at. Great, thanks, uh, thanks, Alexander. Now uh, the fourth Aussie with us today is Michael Hall. So we don't confuse it with Michael S. Sutton. We will just call him Mike. So hello, Mike. Hi, Trey. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm a Sydney-based uh, truck driver slash photographer. I'm relatively new to photography. I've only just been doing it just under two years now. But um, the first day I picked up a camera, I just that was the final piece of the puzzle. It was just a complete love of photography. And I knew this is where I had to be. And then Google Plus came along and... Um, that just sort of boosted that passion even more. And I just love the community, the Aussie community and the whole world community that we've got here at Google Plus. And I'm just loving my time here, you know. So, um, you know, I really like you know, meeting everyone here. Uh, you can find me on right. Google Plus or my website, uh, michaelhall.com. That's M Y K A L H A W L. Okay. Thanks, Mike. And then. The adopted Aussie, um, I Yay. guess, is, uh, is Brian Rose. Yay, Brian! Yay. Brian. Yay. So, so Brian, down. when you're down there, I, you know, I heard that all uh, toilets flush the other direction. I wondered if your mustache was upside down. <laughs> well. It was. It was. It was bizarre. It was uncomfortably exciting. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm um, Brian Tell us Rose. about you and what you do at Google and that sort of thing. Sure. I'm Brian Rose. I'm the Google Plus Photos Community Manager. I was uh, just in Sydney for uh, the last 10 days, just uh, really enjoying my time there. We did the photo walk. We did the first underwater hangout on air with Catlin Seaview survey. It was uh, just a, a total blast. So, um, yeah, you can find me on G Plus. So search for Brian Rose. And if you have any feedback about Google Plus, I'd love to hear it. Great. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for being so... Uh... Um, engaged with the photo community, um, you, you guys really listen, and um, I know I feel comfortable speaking on behalf of all the photographers here. That uh, you know, we, we appreciate everything you guys are doing and how you listen, and uh, you're really engaged. And uh, yep. we're just not we're not used to that. We're used to just being off in the wild and lonely on the web. So it's nice to <laughs> it's nice to have someone like you around. No, I mean the thanks are all on this side of the table. I mean we see G plus and the development of G plus as an open dialogue. So please use the send feedback button. We have teams, plural, teams of people who their entire job is just to help us sort through that feedback and make sure that we're prioritizing the right feature requests and that we're on, on track to basically build a better platform. So yeah, definitely keep your feedback coming. And uh, thank you for sharing your photos on G+. Um, OK, let's say hi to uh, my producer here, Dave Effer. Hey, Dave, how are you? Hey, Trey, how's it going, everybody? I'm uh, Dave Effer. I'm an IT guy hey. slash amateur photographer, and you can find my Google Plus profile at plusdave.com. All right, Dave, you're not an, an Aussie, and neither am I, so we are not allowed to share our photos no. tonight. No. I'm a Dutchman. This isn't going to be. This is going to be an all Aussie love fest. All right. <laughs> Woo. Um, and let's say hi to Tony Wang from Twit. Hey, Tony, how are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, my name is Tony, and um, I work here at Twit as the producer and uh, editor here. And I also uh, take pictures for fun, so of my cat. <laughs> and <laughs> and you had a little photo shoot the other day, right? Can we oh, see those on your stream? Some? Uh, I didn't post them yet. I was going to do them tomorrow because <laughs> tomorrow is the uh, first new episode of uh, Sword and Laser in video form. So ah, yeah. Okay, excellent. Cool. Well, thank you. And also, we're all watching the uh, the live uh, Twit chat. Um, if you guys want to come in and chat, I know Dave is watching it. Uh, I'm watching it. 
Uh, so if you guys have questions or feedback or whatever, we like to have that going on the side, sort of like a matrix of text flying by. It's nice. <laughs> And uh, last, I wanted to say hi to Keith Barrett, who runs uh, the Vidcast Network. He has popped in here. Hey, Keith. Hey, Trey. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, I'm Keith Barrett. I'm an IT guy down here at Disney World. Uh, you can find me at uh, keithplus.me. Um, I also live stream a lot of Hangouts on Google Plus at vidcastnetwork.com. Uh, the majority of them all about photography. And uh, I'm rediscovering a love for, for photography after not being part of it for several years. So. This is great for me. Good. It seems like everybody is uh, either discovering or rediscovering a love for photography. I'm going to plug next week's show. We're going to talk about this, the uh, Sony NEX7. Um, I've been using it for a few weeks now. I got this and D D800 at the same time, so I've been overloaded with camera awesomeness. And I know a lot of people are curious about this camera. I was very curious. Sorry, what was that? I said, you can send me a D800 if it's too much for you, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe I could send you, I could send you um, 12 of the megapixels, and I still have 24 left over. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's get going immediately here with uh, Michael N. Sutton. Um, so, Michael, let's start, and you can tell us a little bit about what it was like uh, across the whole country, you know, what cities was this in? How many people were involved? Um, and uh, and then we'll start sharing some of uh, the, the tagged yeah. photos from the event. For sure, for sure. Thanks, Trey. Um, we we this this photo walk. Um, I started speaking to Google in Sydney about this uh, back in January of this year. Um, we we had a photo walk in October last year in Sydney. Um, Lockie McGrath at um, Google in Sydney said, um, yeah, great, let's do another one. And I said, well, I don't want to do one just in Sydney. I want to share it with the rest of Australia. Let's do one in every major, um, in every capital city in Australia. Um, he was a little bit taken back by that, but he supported it. And he said, yep, let's do it. So I organised um, leaders in, um, in um, Canberra, Melbourne, Hobart, Adelaide, Perth, Darwin and Brisbane and we had a couple of regional ones going. Um, we had a registration form going on Google Plus. We had um, just over 770 people registered for the walk. Um, still doing the figures on how many people turned up to each walk but in Sydney uh, we had 225 people turn up. Um, we, uh, Brian Rose got us on um, a, a site that um, we got a world record for that photo walk, the most photographers in one place taking photos at the one time. Um, that wasn't the aim of the walk. The aim of the walk was to get like-minded people like myself, Alex, Gretchen and Michael all together so we could meet each other, go out on a social photo walk, um, talk to each other, look at each other's gear, swap ideas with each other, learn from each other. And that's what we did, and we did that all over Australia. Um, I think it, I, I personally think it went very, very well. I mean, in Sydney, I didn't see one person on our photo cruise that didn't have a grin on their face from ear to ear. They all loved it. And from the photos I've seen from all around the country, that was everyone's experience. Um, so, yeah, look, it worked out very, very well. Um, everyone's been asking me when the next one is. Um, I'd like to get over this one first before we think of the next one. Um, but no, it went very, very well. It, um, there's some fantastic photos um, that have been that have been shared under the hashtag the walk down under, or one word. Um, that hashtag was actually made up by Alexander. Um, we had a couple of hashtags that we try, were trying to get, but um, that one seemed to to suit um, the Australian photography community. So. Um, if you like, I'll share some um, some photos from um, from that hashtag. Um, yeah, please do, and you can share yeah. your screen, and um, we can see some of the some of the work that was done by the hundreds of people that participated. Um, yeah. uh, that's a good piece of advice, by the way. The hashtag thing. Uh, keep the hashtag fun and simple. Don't have a bunch of codes and weird stuff in it. We. I've been on photo walks where we've had some of the most convoluted tags. No one can ever remember what the hell to do. So the walk down under is perfect. Good job, Alexander. Yeah. 
<laughs> so what we're looking at here, um, I hope you can see these. These are, um, um, I'm just going through the hashtag. A lot of these are um, um, images that I put up this morning just mentioning what we're doing this morning. Um, and Alex has done the same thing. Uh, we'll come down to some photos. Um, these are these are photos that um, that Alex. Can you see that on the screen? Okay, I'll try and make it a bit bigger. There we yeah, go. Yeah, because you make it a little these bigger. Are photo- yeah, um, these are these are photos that Alex has taken that have actually been shared by um, someone else on um, on Google Plus, which is what. Our, the photography community does a lot of this, of um, taking photos, posting them, and other photographers getting up and sharing them and sharing them to their circles. And um, I, I encourage that too. It's, it's happened a lot on the walk down under. Here we're looking at some of Gretchen's photos um, that she's just recently posted. Um, I think most of these were taken on your iPhone, Gretchen, or all that's, of them. Yeah, that's my mobile album. So I... I yep. moved everything that was shot on the phone and uploaded as the walk was happening, along with some that I had edited after the walk and just combined them in the one album. Yeah. Were you just using mobile phones like a few of us were? Um, pretty much. I have a still camera. It's not a DSLR. Um, the only advantage to having that camera is that it's small and it fits in my purse, so I yep. can use it whenever, but it limits me. Um, I. I actually brought um, my husband's Android along as well, so I had I had two iPhones and an Android and a still camera going, and um, I managed to get a few <laughs> shots from from everything while I was juggling the Hangouts yeah. and and riding on the boat. It, it was good fun. Excellent, <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yeah, Alex and myself are um, major iPhoneographers too. Mobile photographers take a lot of our photos. Um, this one's from Melbourne, I think. Lady Fran, there's thousands of photos on this stream, thousands and thousands. So I really do encourage everyone to go and look at the hashtags. There's some amazing work. This is from Sydney. This is, we um, in Sydney we actually jumped on a, um, on a on a on a large boat um, that could take 300 people. And we got 225 on there. Did an hour cruising around Sydney Harbour as the sun was rising, and uh, then went on to a, an old um, a, 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 an island that used to be used for um, our navy repairing boats. Um, that's been opened up to the public called Cockatoo Island, and um, we we're let loose there and had breakfast there. This is one of Alex's photos that he took uh, with his iPhone um, on the platform of one of the train stations. I would say it would be in the city somewhere. No, it was four o'clock in the morning, Michael. I'm waiting four for o'clock. you. Really? Yeah. You got up that early too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all got up rather early. The, we actually had to be at um, Darling Harbour in Sydney at five thirty in the morning, so it was a very early start. But I think everyone really enjoyed it. Now these sleeping. are photos. Sorry, yeah, these are photos <laughs> from Michelle Robinson, who um, I want to have a bit of a talk about later on. Um, she's an amazing. Um, photographer, artist as well. And that Alex's photos seem to be on this thread a lot. Yeah, I now love this that is one, actually Alex. A, this is a uh, photo. I paid everyone to reshare <laughs> today. Did you? Oh, you probably did. This is actually a photo of Lockie McGrath. He's the um, the person at Google Australia that that. Um, but I really think got all of this working for us. He's he's devoted a lot of time and a lot of energy into this into this um, into this walk and um, our our community here in Australia. And I, I real I really do think without him, none of this would have happened. None of it. He's an amazing young guy. Amazing young guy. Uh, where else are we? Um, this is actually one of Lockie's photos. Yeah. Is Michael there? That's that's, that's Michael that, Hall down here. That's me down there. I think in that's there. Gretchen just down here. Yeah, I'm just lining up a shot there. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the gear that was used. Wow. A bit bigger than my iPhone. Doesn't fit in my purse, that. <laughs> oh, okay. This was. Um, I guess we can talk about this. We did a little bit of a um, of a walk. Um, a week after the walk down under for Brian Rose and took him out to some sand hills, some light painting, but um, that wasn't from the walk. 
Um, we all had coloured T-shirts, uh, red, green, blue and yellow. The walk leaders had black T-shirts. Are you guys standing at a ones. urinal? <laughs> I, I don't know what that <laughs> is. Like. It looks like it, doesn't it? It, it, looks, looks, like, it looks like you're at a I'm sure if you look at the comments, that's probably mentioned in there. <laughs> and all the coloured T-shirts all around Australia look amazing. And I've actually seen people walking around Sydney with them on still. So they're, they're loving it. Now, this is probably this is probably the best photo I think that was taken in Sydney by uh, Brian Rose. And there's, a, um, there's an unfortunate story that goes along with this photo. Um, Brian's got a, uh, had a, one, he's got a one-year-old D7000, I think it is, Brian. I don't even think it's a year old, actually. I, I, I well, just well, first yes, well, looks, got it. Now it now looks a lot older than a year old because, unfortunately, <laughs> when he was getting, when I was helping Brian up on top of a, uh, a large concrete tank, um, okay. his DSLR, the the LCD screen, smashed up against the side of the tank, and he um, cracked his LCD screen in the rear of his camera. Um, so unfortunate, but he still he still managed to get this photo with a 10.5 mil fisheye lens of um, the 225 participants in the Sydney walk. Um, way in the background there near my cursor, you can see the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Um, so that was 225 of us all having a ball on a on a perfect Sydney morning. Uh, this is more cool. from inside the buildings. These are more of Alex's photos. We'll skip past those. Thanks. <laughs> This is one from Canberra, our um, nation's capital of um, one of the lakes down there, taken by Martin. Now, Martin was the walk leader in um, Canberra for us and did an amazing job. And there's some, they're, they're, they're a set of photos you really want to have a good look at down in Canberra. They had hot air balloons up at sunrise, beautiful reflections, um, very, very nice place. Some transit photos. To do the old Beatles walk on a pedestrian crossing. This was in. Um, on, I'm not going to say because I'll mess it up and I'll get cranky with me. But I think it was um, Melbourne. Might be Adelaide. Now, a lot of the photos you're looking at now are taken on mobile phones too, because I encouraged everybody to take a device that they could upload photos onto the uh, Google Plus stream then and there. Um, so people could follow them. And that's what Trey was doing. He was looking at a lot of these, plus weighing them, commenting. Very much appreciated by everybody. And there's already people doing revisited walks. So they've got people down in Melbourne doing the same walk again, <laughs> which is great, awesome. Brisbane. <clears throat> Sydney. Oh, Alex, your photos are everywhere. What are you doing? You must have infested the stream. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Look at them. Alex does some amazing. Well, this is all from Alex's iPhone too, and no, iPad. 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 I, he's, call, he's now calling it iPadography. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Alex. Alex is actually walking around, and I'll, I'll try and find the photo with his iPad mounted on my top phone. of his D seven hundred. And I was walking around with my iPhone mounted on top of my D ninety. Where are we? A lot of text here from Melbourne. Now this this photo here is um, a very very popular photo. I, I think it's actually featured on um, on Google at the moment. Brian, is that right? Yeah, actually, both this one by uh, Frank, and then also the one we scrolled by earlier by uh, Queenie Chan with the uh, the Wiggles Abbey Road type photo. They were both yes. featured, yep. and. Um, Basically, what happens when we feature one of your photos is it shows up um, on our hashtag photography page on G+, which is uh, our unofficial team page. And then we'll also showcase it on the Picasa homepage, as well as on Google.com on the uh, background selector. And just because of the sheer volume of people who are sharing their photos on G+, and resharing them like, like this reshare here, or you know just playing around with Google.com's background selector, um, on average, a lot of these photos will get somewhere between a million to two million views within the first week. So depending wow. on how popular the photo is, it, that's just kind of the scale of not just G+, but the entire Google platform. So yeah. two million views on a photo that you share within, you wow. know, in only five or six days 
Um, yeah. Brian, are we ever going to see that feature on Google Plus where we can see how many times a photo has been viewed rather than just plus one? Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That's good news. That's good news. I actually knew the answer to that question. Sorry. <laughs> there it is again. There that is again. <laughs> Uh, here we go, the Brisbane Why group. Why does it always have to be NPR? Why? Sorry? Why does it always have to be All it's doing is making people angry. Uh, <laughs> HDR, all it does is make people angry when HDR <laughs> stuff gets popular. <laughs> well, hey, Michael, can you also yep. do a, there's a little production note, but it would be great if you could take uh, some of these people that you've been mentioning, the, the group leaders. Yeah. And, whatnot yep. in the various areas and uh, get their names or their little numbers to yep. Dave Beffer. And oh, then sure it makes it will. very easy for me to plus mention them later when I reshare yep. this video. And, yeah, I and, sure will. Uh, and get I circled sure up will. and all that good stuff. That yeah. looks like a HDR to me. Yeah, say so. Yes. And there's that photo again. I think everyone down at this walk in Melbourne, actually took um, took that photo That's too. Right. Other than the other than the four <laughs> that were in there. <laughs> That's an awesome photo from Canberra. And here's our Opera House. That looks like Michael Hall just there in the corner, posted by Lockie from Google. Yeah, Lockie's a bit awesome, Lockie. Lockie. I think he is a fan of yours from what he's saying there. <laughs> but so we should be, Michael. So we should be. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, well, I'm Mike, you, so I'm still learning from you guys. Well, uh, no, I've been on a few. Sorry. My very first photo walk was actually with um, Giuseppe Basili, um, who's in um, a bit of a hiatus at the moment because he's just, um, they've just had their first child. And so he's had a, a few months off being with the family. And um, we actually went out to a, a local beach, uh, Turrimetta Beach, and that was my very first uh, Google Plus meetup. So I was pretty privileged to meet such a great photographer first up. And from that day on, my photography just changed completely. You know, he lent me a filter of his, um, very generous guy, and a few tips, and from there, it just skyrocketed from there. And so since you're, you, you sound like one of the kind of newest photographers here in the crowd. Um, what, uh, what has photo walking kind of done for your love of photography? Has it kind of increased the, the rate at which you love photography? Has it got you even more energized? And what's, what's that been like? It's just like um, Google Plus photography community, is, it's my tribe. That's where I belong. You know, I just feel so comfortable. I like family. And I just love meeting the local people, um, going out and doing photo walks. It's my photography has just improved so much just by talking and re interacting with people. You know, I do a lot of listening to podcasts and reading ebooks and stuff like that. But um, it's the people that I meet. That's that's the love of my photography. You know, and it just helps me so much. I agree. I agree with you, Michael. <laughs> 100%. Um, the, uh, the Death Valley photo walk last year, Swede pulled me aside, Swede O, and um, she was saying that she spent hundreds of dollars on this photo seminar where she was basically in a classroom all weekend. And she said she learned more just on that first morning of that photo walk, being outside with photographers, talking to other photographers, you know, borrowing their filters, borrowing their lenses, and just seeing how they shot. And I think that's really true. You, you learn a lot more by doing than just sitting in a classroom and paying all that money for you know, to hear someone talk. So um, yeah. I, I really like on the photo walks being able to tie someone's profile photo to their actual face. I mean, there's nothing that replaces a handshake or a high five or a hug. Even at, hangouts are really cool. And I have no doubt about that. But I, I do like actually meeting people one on one. And so um, that, that's why I love photo walks. You know, I've, I've actually been doing photo. Right. You're going. No, on. go on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to yeah, interrupt. I, go, go right. Yeah, I've actually been doing photo walks. Um, for probably three years in my local area. That's how Alex and myself met um, Gretchen. I met Gretchen and Michael at last year's um, Google Plus Walk, and I, I've made. Oh, I, I just couldn't think of how many how many very very close friends I've made just through photo walks. Um, 
you know, I, I would in the Sydney photo walk at least a third or a half of those people I've met before. That we all know who each other are. Um, it's it's just a it's a great community. It's a great way for us all to to get out and um, and enjoy each other's company because most of us, when we take photos, we're out there by ourselves at sunrise or sunset. It's just us. You know, um, you, you, you're sharing the time with yourself and you're posting the photo so everyone else can get to see them as well. But when you're there with another photographer or another group of photographers, you're all there enjoying the moment together and sharing it together and and, and, and you've got it as a memory together. And I, for me, it is, as as Michael's wife said to me, as Mike's, Michael Hall's wife said to me the other day, um, it's, it's we're like a big family and um, and, and she, she now understands why um, Michael likes coming out with us because we're all very, very similar. And, um, yeah, it's a great photo of um, Gretchen here. Oh, God. <laughs> I think Gretchen likes that photo, don't you, Gretchen? Another one of Alex's photos. Well, all these photo walks are usually frequented by really kind, nice people, very welcoming group of people. And... I imagine it's especially so down in Australia. Um, I'll never forget the first time, you know, to the rest, to you Aussies, Australia is not that exotic, but to the rest of the world, Australia is a very exotic place. And I'll never forget the first time I, I heard about Australia and Australians. I was a kid and I happened to be watching uh, the BBC and Prince Charles had just gotten back from a trip to Australia and he was being interviewed and they said, uh, they go, so what do you think of Australia and Australians? And he says, Australians, they could really take you down a notch. <laughs> and so that was, my, that was my first, I go, oh, these guys are pretty cool then. Uh, and so uh, ever since then, you know, now I've, now I've gotten to know a lot of, a lot of Aussies and, and uh, you guys are you guys are perfectly situated to be great artists because you you both take yourself seriously and not seriously at all, and that's kind of the the right way to be. And you can you can see that coming out from all the photos that I've been experiencing from the photo walk. Yeah, I think we have a tendency to do that. We um we are very lucky down here, very very lucky. Well, cool. Thanks for showing those, um, and uh, we'll we'll link to that uh, also, so people can experience that as well, and then go through at their own leisure and see some of these photos. Thank you, Michael. Yep. No worries. Um, Thank you. Let's uh, let's transition into. I'd like you guys to show a little bit of your work and talk about your work and what's important to you, and show a few pieces of your portfolio. Um, hey, Gretchen, do you feel comfortable um, starting oh. out and, and sharing something? I'll give it a shot. I'll try and share my screen here. Um, All right. Here's one from the um, the photo walk. That says, as we arrived on the boat and walked up to Cockatoo Island, that's taken with the iPhone, a guard standing there. Most of the uh, photographers went around to the, the left <laughs> and bypassed the entryway, but that's that's what that looks like. Um, let's see what else I can find. <laughs> I'm not an old hat. Hey, what, uh, what filter did you did you use an app on that on that photo? I did. I tend to use about I don't know. I use a series of apps. Um, I might go through I don't know six apps sometimes to get the look I want. Um, I just keep shifting it from one app to the next until I'm happy with the result. Um, can you see these flowers here? Yes. Yep. Are they? Sh yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one I took with my my basic Sony camera. Uh, it's a very Australian flower, frangipani flower. I uh, just liked the way the the little one was coming through the middle of the two. There, I thought that was cute. Um, let's see, sorry, I don't know how to um, go from one to the next. Here's one I took from one of my favorite vantage points in Sydney. 
It's from a place called Bradley's Head. Um, just over there to the right is where Taronga Zoo is, and it's looking back out at the Opera House, the bridge. And I just I like the way the light was coming through the clouds there. And let's see. Um, here's one. This is another iPhone photo that I processed to look kind of like an old book illustration. I like that kind of old fashion look that you can get by um, playing with the textures and color desaturation. Um, let's see what else I can find. You still want to see more? Let's see. Oh, the sunrise photo. I took a picture. Can't find it. And here's one. It's another iPhone photo. This one is of all the people eating breakfast, the hungry mob. I kind of softened it a bit just to, I don't know, emphasize the architecture a bit more. And see what else I can, can find. Um, can you see this one? I don't know if I'm doing this right. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, you're doing great. Oh, okay. This is a flower, um, obviously. Now there, I just, if I, if I have to, basically if I have a couple minutes of time, I take a picture and then I process it. I've got children, so I, um, you know, I, I try to go out and walk every, every day. Hey, and, Gretchen, um, can you try to share the flower again? I don't, I don't see it. I still see the hall. Oh, you still see the hall. Okay. Um, I think my method here has been to just come back and see what else I can find the flower. Here's the sunrise. Can you see that? So yes. Can you see? All right. Yep. yep. So this this is kind of a special picture for me because um one of the things I did for the Sydney walk was take uh, Corey C. Fisk. Uh, on the walk with me. Do you guys remember the How Was Your Day, Sweetie thing that Alan Shapiro got? Did anybody yep. else remember that? So I invited um, Corey and um, Vivian Gukwa from um, New York to come on the boat because Vivian wants to travel. She's always wanted to come to Sydney. And of course, Corey is stuck in her bed most of the time. So from the bow of the boat, I had two live hangouts going just for them individually um, on two separate iPhones, and then I juggled my camera a bit and managed to get a couple, <laughs> a couple of pictures. So, because I thought, hang on, I, I want to take pictures too. So that was that one. And I think that's John uh, Butterill's virtual photo ox project, right? Um, sh Corey corrected me that. You know, this was just for her as a person. That's yeah. something that's a trademark um, thing that is separate, and that's where it's an organized group, and I think she leads the group of disabled people through uh, a walk, and they kind of direct what people take pictures of. I think that's yeah. what that was. This was just more for both of those women as people to be a part of something fun that, that was happening and to see... A site that was new. Yeah. So, do you see the triptograph here? The the triple. Yep. Yes. All right. Yeah. So, when I'm processing, sometimes I like I like more than one version of the of the photo, and I'll combine them. I do a lot of abstract um, art, and I'll do that by combining images in different ways. This one's not very abstract, but that's sometimes how the process starts. And um, Hey, Gretchen, you know, there's, a, to, yeah. there's a question from the chat room. A pro yeah. photo tutor uh, says, can you find out what iPhone app she's using to get that comic book look? To get the comic book look. Um, <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> Secret. Uh -oh. it, is, it is actually created by using a series of apps. 
So um, that look, I'm not getting that look by using one app in particular. I can find another, um, see if I can find another one to look at and talk about how, how I got it. I, I can name some of the apps that I do use. I'm having trouble sharing my screen now. Um, it's okay. You can just tell us your favorites. <laughs> I, <laughs> I use Snapseed. I use PhotoForge 2. Um, PicFrame is how I get the multiple frames um, put together. Um, I use um, pic, Picture Magic, um, Iris, um, Noir. I, I've got quite a few going on there that I, I use a combination of them. And I actually don't own um, any editing software. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised that my photography has been as successful it is, as it is because I I don't have a fancy camera. I don't have editing software. I'm um, relying on my creativity to come up with the images I get because I just have to use the tools available to me. So that should, you know, remind people that it's not about the equipment always. Sometimes it's about what you do with what you've got. Um, Hundred yeah, percent agree yeah. with you, Gretchen. <laughs> um, cool. Thanks, Gretchen. Yeah, I think sure. my favorite of those you listed is a uh, noir. Uh, that one. Noir. That one's crazy good. Uh, um, all right. Hey, let's let's jump over uh, to to someone else. Let's let's. Hey, Alexander, do, are you ready to share some stuff? Maybe yeah, Alexander, sure. then you, Brian. Does that sound good? No worries. Um, okay. Look, I'm just going to go into my uh, Google Plus stream and try and share that for you guys. Just hang on one sec. Yeah, that's cool. There you go. So, you guys, that working? Uh, so, by the way, while you're doing that, I'll apologize. I was going to do a live um, sort of fireworks tutorial tonight, um, but we're on sort of a tight schedule, and I know uh, when people tune in sort of a regular time from over and uh, we have to finish up uh, in about 30 minutes from now because there's another show coming on Twit. Um, so we'll get through uh, having everyone share their work and then we'll go through some uh, Google Plus uh, photographer discoveries. I think we're going to have like sort of an all Australia discovery thing tonight. Um, so I might, um, I, I hate to hurry you guys along, but uh, I want to squeeze in as much as we can in the next 30 minutes. Okay. No worries. I'll hurry up. Okay. Um, look, this, uh, uh, this photo here is, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of different things of what I do that sort of reflect best, uh, you know, different styles uh, uh, that I do. This is a shot that I took uh, when Michael and I went down to uh, Cronulla Beach one mo morning, which is just a local beach here where you can find me and Michael almost every Sunday morning uh, taking photos. Um, so this was taken with my iPhone. It's part of my uh, iPhone or mobile photography uh, 366 project. And basically it's just, I, I think by that time I was probably waist deep in the water holding my iPhone as high as I possibly could <laughs> not to get wet. Um, I don't know if that's the first uh, a shot uh, in terms of uh, iPhone surf photography that's ever been attempted. But uh, yeah, I was, I was quite happy with the end result. And you can see a little plane going up and uh, going towards Sydney Airport as well. It's crazy. I can't believe you got that with a phone. It's insane. Uh, uh, it's look, it's, uh, I think a lot of people underestimate uh, uh, how good a camera they actually have in their mobile phone when they go out and uh, what you can achieve uh, uh, using a mobile phone. Um, this uh, particular one I just edited in Snapseed, which is my absolute number one favorite app of all time. I yep. do 95% of my uh, editing with Snapseed uh, and, uh, and I'm, you know, they don't pay me anything to say this, but I just uh, I absolutely love it. It's the, uh, I've got it on my Mac, iPad, iPhone, uh, use it all the time. 
Okay, I'll just move on and uh, I'll share some uh, photos from uh, last weekend. Uh, we went out and uh, took Brian down to the Wonder Sand Dunes, which are also near Cronulla, uh, uh, which is sort of a bit like a, well, it's, it's, it's shifting sand dunes, which have been diminished over time uh, by sand mining. Uh, basically, people just rocked up with trucks and uh, got the sand there. But uh, here you can see uh, Michael in action um, spinning the steel wool and uh, a couple of the uh, other local photographers uh, coming along to this as well, as well as Brian. I think you had a good time with that, didn't you, Brian? Yeah, I'll show you some of my photos, um, but it was just a complete blast. So, so cool. <laughs> um, this, is, uh, this is the one where we attempted to do, uh, I think it was supposed to be a circle and then a plus one, uh, to say <laughs> with the Google theme. Um, wow. Yeah. And um, here's a, a, there's one good one of... Uh, I think this one here, where Michael actually, I think he tried to hit my camera on purpose. Did, it, did I hit your camera? Yes, you did. And I think when you said, look down here, I think you can see, I don't know who this was. I think that was Floyd actually getting hit in the knee. Oh, that was me. <laughs> oh, that was you. <laughs> yeah. Also got Copeland on the hat too. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Um, so that's that. Um, I'll leave it here. I want some of the other ones to, to be able to share some of their images as well. So, um, you know, if you want to see any of my other photos, just have a look at my Google Plus profile. Good on you, Alex. Cool. Thanks, Alex. Hey, Brian, do you have uh, five you said you wanted to share? Yeah. So I, I didn't actually take too many photos on the photo walk itself. I was um, doing basically a stop motion animation. So if you search for the hashtag, the walk down under YouTube, either on Plus or on uh, just Google.com, you can find that YouTube video. It's basically a summary of the entire Sydney walk. But uh, I have uh, about five photos I can just quickly share with you, of uh, the ones that I did take. So um, this first one, uh, this was basically in uh, Cockatoo Island. They had this just massive warehouse. And then uh, I just popped on my, my fisheye, the 10.5 millimeter Nikon, and, uh, yeah, just um, shot it as basically the entire crowd was uh, leaving for the uh, the ferry. So one of the things with photo walks, especially if you have something like this photo walk where there are 225 people, um, it can sometimes be hard not to take photos of other photographers. But I, I found if you just are patient, if you um, basically wait for a little while or, or when you see everyone taking photos in one spot, just walk the opposite direction. Uh, that's a good way to just take scenes like this, even if there are 225 other people <laughs> all on the same island that you're on. The uh, the next one is um, just that group shot. And I can tell you a little bit more just about um, what was going on in my head uh, when I took this. So uh, I don't like heights, and I really don't like spiders. And this concrete <laughs> group that I'm standing on basically combined two of my worst fears. So, uh, yeah, like Michael was saying, he boosted me up on this concrete tube, and it's not a platform. It's basically, um, I don't know, it's some kind of tank with a bunch of uh, holes in it. And there's some other shots. Oh, what a tank. Dream. Yeah, basically, you, you look down, and it's just filled with spider webs. <laughs> and uh, before I came to Sydney, one of uh, my coworkers was saying, Sydney's really great, but you have to watch out for these giant spiders. So that was the only thing that was racing through my mind. I had just uh, broken the, uh, the LCD on my camera. I didn't even care about that. All I cared about was uh, dying of whatever kind of crazy uh, giant spider bite that I'm, I was sure it was going to crawl on my shoulder or something. But, um, yeah, basically because it was such a wide angle, I was trying to tell people to get as close as possible. And, uh, yeah, we tried to get all 225 in the shot. We still had some room on the, the sides, and you see the Sydney Harbor in the background. Um, the other this is a photo that I, I took of Brian the minute that his screen, uh, uh, or the second that his, he realized that his screen cracked. And as you can see, he's still laughing, which uh, I think says a lot. <laughs> that was probably just nervous laughter from all the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this photo is from, uh, from Cronulla. So um, I think it was the, the following weekend, basically, when we went out 
And that's Michael spinning the steel wool, just uh, basically trying to make this curtain of uh, sparks. So uh, this is yep. again the same that's fish out there. I love that shot. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty crazy. And then I think that's um, Stephen Godfrey with the trucker hat on. He's kind of blurred in the uh, the bottom corner there. But yeah, I just um, <laughs> Michael's the uh, the center of the world here. So it, it's a cool mm -hmm. shot. This one, uh, we were doing some some light graffiti, and I was trying to figure out actually um, how to do this correctly because uh, when I was shooting it, this is my my wife Kim uh, actually doing the the light graffiti. She tried to do it backwards or right right in reverse so that it'd be uh, the correct way when I was taking the photo, and it just ended up just crazy looking. So um, she just wrote this natural to her, just the way that you know you would normally write Google, and then I just flipped the image horizontally. So um, there, we didn't have to mess around with trying to write <laughs> backwards and all this other crazy stuff. Um, and then the other just weird thing about this photo is it was a full moon on, on this night. And the moon was so strong, it was just casting shadows. It was almost like uh, as bright as, I guess, um, just maybe early dawn. I mean, it was just a, a really strange light that was um, there that night. And so uh, you, even, you still saw the stars. I think I boosted the exposure of this one, maybe just um, one stop. But um, yeah, it was just a uh, really interesting lighting. And then this last now, Brian, is this what your wife calls you? Does she call you Googie? <laughs> Googie. <laughs> that's, that's my pet name. Your little pet name is adorable, you guys. Okay, next then, photo. This final shot, it's uh, again my wife. She's holding up the... Um, the little lamp that Stephen had, had let her borrow for the uh, the light graffiti, and uh, she's just doing the Statue of Liberty pose. But um, yeah, this one actually, I think I darkened it a little bit just to, because the moon was so bright, and it I just yeah something about this image just uh, I guess like the loneliness of it it just uh, kind of spoke to me. But um, yeah, those are those are my five, and I haven't posted the on G Plus yet. I still have to do a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of editing. Um, but I'll share those on G plus later this week. All right. Well, get on it. Googie. Um, <laughs> Google uh, right. <laughs> uh, Michael, how about you share some of your work now? Okay. Um, I've, I've got more than five, but, um, we'll go through them quickly. Um, I'll just make this a bit bigger. And this, um, this, these, this is taken on my iPhone down at Cronulla Beach um, one sunrise uh, a couple of days ago. I'm actually in the, doing a, um, my third year in a row of taking one photo every day and posting it. Um, the last two days I haven't done it because I haven't been well. But um, most of the photos that I, that I um, post are taken on the day. So that's just with the iPhone, edited in Snapseed and um, posted... Um, Edit, taken, posted, and um, edited um, while I was there on the spot. Um, let me go back. Sorry, no, this is another one from my iPhone. Uh, taken the other morning of a um, of a mother and a son standing on the beach watching the sunrise. Um, this is from my DSLR from a couple of years ago. Um, tried to do a HDR, couldn't do it, so I just um, got a wide-angle lens out and uh, did a bit of editing in some on one software. Uh, this is some of the light painting that Alex and myself have been known to do. Uh, we, we go and find some remote locations or not so remote locations and uh, mark around with um, HID LEDs that, um, that I've put inside ping pong balls and, and swing to create orbs um, with a bit of steel wool action in the back by Alex. Uh, this, is another, this is a sunrise photo from Cronulla again um, on my DSLR. So you can see there's not much of a difference between the iPhone and the DSLR, not that I can see anyway. Um, Trey, you probably don't know this place yet. That's um, from my iPhone um, beginning of last year of um, a place in New Zealand called Queenstown. Yeah, I never heard of it. 
<laughs> Beautiful place. This is actually a black and white HDR I took of a university in Sydney. Wow, that's cool. Um, this, is, um, this is not a HDR. This is uh, just using a new 50mm lens that I, that I bought and went into the city and was just trying it out. A bit of colour. And I think I've got a few. I'll just share a few of my iPhone photos that I've been taking the last couple of days with you. So these are mainly okay. um, they're taken with the native um, iPhone camera and edited in uh, Snapseed. And this one has seen a program called Dynamic Light to give that a uh, little bit of an autumn effect. Wow, you just took these in the last few days. Yeah, this has all been taken in the last week, these ones. Wow. Yeah. So I like to get out there. At, I leave home. I'm only five-minute drive from the beach, so I'll get down there at 5.30, get down on the sand and wait for the local surfers to come by. And um, There's no zooming in. It's just you know, I'm standing probably five metres away from them and they all, they all expect to see me down there every morning doing these crazy things. <laughs> So this is this has sent a bit of an app called Scratch Cam to give the um, um, the dis, the um, distracted look to it. So as you can see, I like to get down there for sunrise and try and get the sun into the photo. A lot of when I was told about when I was taught photography a long time ago, they said always have the sun to your back. But um, I've, I've actually turned my back on that idea, and I like getting the sun in the photos. <laughs> And um, that's about it. That's, um, I'll give someone else a go. Cool. Thank you, Michael. Um, oh, wow. And now it's Mike's turn. Mike, you got some stuff to show. Okay. Um, hopefully it doesn't kick me out when I try to do this, but um, we'll give it a go. So let's see how we go. You all see that? Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah, this, this was uh, taken down at uh, Coldcliffe Beach uh, at the start of the year. Uh, Mike Sutton and a few of us went down there for an early morning photo shoot. And um, it was also actually featured in um, Jarek uh, Klimek's uh, photo extract. Um, I've been lucky to be featured in there five times. So um, for a beginning photographer, I'm fluking it, I think. <laughs> so now um, yeah, I'll just find another one. Slow here. So, what part of Australia is that in? I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's down Wollongong. It's it's uh, south of Sydney, probably about uh, forty five minute drive. Oh, oh no! no. Did we just drop it? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> he might have sent you links, Dave. I think Michael might have filled out that. Um... Mm. No, he Mike was actually an awesome. He's an awesome photographer for someone who's only been taking photos for two years. To he's really, really picked it up well. No, yeah, it's always I'm, interesting to see that, isn't it? When people just get started and they get really good really fast. Um, yeah, I think I think annoying. in some ways when you see people like that, that it kind of indicates that they they've always been thinking and wanting to be a photographer. Just maybe they didn't realize it, and that's why they accelerate yeah. so quickly. Yeah. Well. Can I, I will, I will say that I haven't really taken and shared my photos other than say of pictures of my kids, other than since I've joined Google Plus, which is about what's that, eight months ago in beta mode. I, um, I did come from a filmmaking background though. So I think that that kind of helped me. I still don't own my first proper camera. So I, I feel like I'm not even a beginning Photographer, I'm more of an experimental artist. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. Join. Well, join next week. I'll make an argument that you may not need a DSLR anymore. You may be able I to go right might. to mirror. I, I, th I think you might be right. I, I've been looking at that camera. Oh, he's back. He's back. Yeah. Um. Hey, we're we've got uh, thirteen minutes left. Thirteen minutes. <laughs> So we'll have to run through our discoveries pretty fast. Maybe if you guys could just plan on just ripping through them for about a, 
a minute each. Alexander, yep. you get yours ready. Hey, Michael uh, or Mike, are you back? Ready to share another photo? Oh, we've got we've a, been singing your praises while you've been gone. We've got a duplicate Mike joining in right now. All right, we've got Mike and his and his uh, doppelganger. Uh, well, let's go ahead and just jump right into the um, kind of the discoveries um, section of the show. Um, Alexander, why don't you share? Yeah, I'm um, ready. Somebody with us. All right, so uh, the person that I'm sharing today is uh, uh, Stephen Godfrey, um, who is a yeah. author came on the walk with us. He's a fantastic street and street portrait photographer. Um, just uh, you know, some he really has a feeling of uh, for for capturing uh, people's personalities. Um, and I'm just going to throw go through some of his shots from the photo walk, as I think they they actually. Probably some of the best photos from from the day. Um, I agree. I'm just going to go through them. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I, <laughs> I never answer that phone either. <laughs> So as you can see, he see he really um, is is an excellent uh, 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 photographer. This is a beautiful shot of Gretchen um, that he took. Um. Wow! <laughs> this is a photo I think of myself with my iPad taking a photo off the Harbour Bridge, uh, and uh, I, I just I just absolutely love it. Um, it looks like he took it from a submarine. <laughs> Um, uh, this is Lockie who organised the um, uh, photo walk with Michael uh, from Google Australia and uh, I think uh, marketing Google Asia. Um, he's just been absolutely fantastic um, putting this yep. together, and I think it's just one of those photos that really, really shows him, you know, so 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 well. Cool. Here we go. Thank this you, is, uh, Alex. This is a photo of Michael. Or Mike, I should say. Yeah, I like that photo. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna finish up with the one of uh, Michael and his uh, daughter. I think which is coming up soon. All right. Then Anna, we've got Michael and Lexi. That'll do. Yeah, I'll take her as a daughter. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Yeah, Lexi was a reporter from CNET TV in Australia who came out and covered the walk for us too. Um, so, yeah, that's that's Stephen uh, Godfrey's uh, photos. And uh, as I said, he's, he's just somebody everyone should circle. Uh, fantastic photographer and a very, very smart guy. He's got a PhD or work is working on his PhD at the moment. And uh, uh, yeah, it's just uh, just uh, an amazing photographer. Yep. Great. Okay, thank you. And well, for people that have trouble finding these guys and gals, we will I will plus mention them when I share this, so you can you can circle them right up easily. So Brian, you are going to share with us a Perthian photographer. Is that what you call people from Perth? Perthian? It sounds weird. <laughs> that can't be right. Uh, anyway, his name is David Savage. Okay, go for it, Brian. Sure. So uh, I really like uh, David Savage's photos. So not not just the ones that he took on the photo walk, but uh, like he said, he's from Perth. I'll just flip through uh, about five of his five of his photos. But um, uh, yeah, I just I like his light. I like um, the subjects that he captures. He does a mix of both, um, like on the photo walks, kind of street photography and, and landscape photography. He did some light painting as well. Um, just some, some fun people shots. Um, I think this one is uh, one of the light painting that he did uh, early in the morning, I think, uh, at the Perth photo walk. But yeah, definitely check him out, David Savage. Uh, you can find him on G+, just search for his name. He's got this uh, cool green profile icon. Excellent. Thank you, Brian. Um, Gretchen, uh, who do you have for us today? All right. Well, I wanted to talk about Mish 
All right, she's Michelle Robinson. Let's see if I can get my. Um, oh, I picked her as well. I know you didn't. You did respond to my messages, Michael. Uh, Francis, Francis Gore. There's so many people that should be. Um, I'll, I'll pick Francis. Francis. I'm I'm having trouble with my screen share though. Um, Dave. Okay, I'm on. Maybe, maybe you can help me. Um, she's the first link. She's uh, based in Adelaide, and she's just she's growing so much as an artist over the last oh, probably two to three months. I'd say she's kind of changed her um, approach, and I've started following her work more closely. Um, I just think that she's she's capturing a lot of people and life uh, around her in Adelaide, but also she's got a real artistic um, kind of angle on on a lot of her work that she does too. Mm. And I I think that it's um, worth. I like that picture; it's great from the photo walk. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Fun. Fun stuff. All on her iPhone too, I think you'll find. Yeah. Yeah, I follow her too. Um, she's cool. All right, uh, Michael, what's your discovery for us? Uh, okay, well, my discovery was Michelle, but um, I'll pick my um, – because I was like, what? I, I'm going to pick um, Francis Gorez. I'll just share my screen. Okay. Okay, um, that's not it. Where are we? Francis Gorez is a um, Sydney-based photographer, came along to the photo walk, does some amazing um, um, black and white images, colour images, um, a must-follow, has 18,000 followers, awesome guy, lovely man, fantastic photographer. You have to circle him and follow him. <laughs> Great. Super, Thank you, Michael. Super kind person. Yeah, very, very talented man, very talented man. Wonderful. Um, and Michael, or Mike, I know you're having trouble with your connection, so we couldn't see your other photos, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll link over yeah. to you. But give us the name of your discovery so we can uh, check him or her out. Okay. Uh, my discovery is Andrew Sangorski. He's from Geelong in Victoria. He's a um, landscape and fine art photographer. Um, does beautiful um, black and white um Long exposure photography. He um, won a uh, a free workshop from Joel uh, Ginsler, the international award-winning black and white fine art photographer, and um, that's an area where I'd like to move into to sort of try my hand at that. So I just love his photos. Um, yeah, I can see there, Dave's just um, picking up some of his images. Uh, if you can pull up some of the uh, black and white fine art ones, and it's in his posts. Okay, we'll get that and um, share that with everybody. All right, well, before we part ways, I want to give a plug to um, Catherine Hall's show. It's called Twit Photo, and her guest coming up is Frank Mio. Uh, he is at thephotocloser.com. He is a photography agent. So that's what's coming up um, on the next show there. All right, well, uh, I want to thank you guys for coming. Thank you, all you um, awesome Aussies, I hope you had fun. Thank you, Trey. Had fun. Thanks, Trey. Yeah. Thanks, no, no. Trey. No, no. It's, it's my pleasure. Much appreciated um, nice. giving us all coverage down here, Trey. Um, means a lot to us all. Thank you. Well, you deserve it. And uh, you guys, uh, uh, you know, you talked about in the beginning about uh, how you worked with Google to set up the photo walk. Um, but I want everyone to know if you're interested in doing a photo walk anywhere in any country around the world, you don't have to work with Google. You could just set it up on your own and find a group of people and go out. It doesn't have to be a big official thing. Yeah, um, Trey, we actually have a, gift, we have a gift for you. Ah. I hope you can read that. Can you read that? Oh, I can. Oh, thank you very much. You can uh, read that? That's kind. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, Michael. I will come. Uh, I'll pick it up in person. All right? Good. Well, that's the whole idea of it, Trey. We want to see you over here. You only, you'll only be three hours away. 
<laughs> I said, I, well, I guess you weren't offering to send it then. Okay, well, I will definitely <laughs> pick it up. And <laughs> but I don't have your address. <laughs> have no, I, I look it forward to it. Excellent. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, I appreciate you very much. And uh, we'll have to do this for some other countries around the world, too. This was fun. Uh, you guys made it easy for me. You just show pretty stuff, and I just sit here like an idiot, so it's easy. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I'll see you guys and, uh, next week on the show. Do I? And uh, I appreciate you guys. And we will see you next time. All right, everyone, just kind of wave goodbye, and we'll see your little Brady Bunch boxes waving. I wonder if we can get them to do an Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, 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 oi.